Saints Row franchise has existed and done so many amazing things. Where do you go from there? It's kind of hard to figure out. Naturally, we look at all the things that we've done in the past, but the more we did that, the more we started to discover that we're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the studio. Translation from Office Slave Speak. We had a super cool and successful product beloved by all our fans. And that was the problem. For you see, we hate our fans and want nothing more than to make them cry. So we replaced all of the characters and themes that they adored with our endless creativity for bland, boring hipster garbage. Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Good God. I am old enough to remember having played the original Saints Row all the way back in the day, when it was essentially a rebel game. It took on Grand Theft Auto, the absolute titan of the time, and hell, the titan of current years as well, with a completely new, batshit insane approach. It was awesome, and something genuinely new, interesting, and different. Not to mention also, mm, edgy as all hell. It was a fun game. And that is, of course, why we now get a quote like this from Volition. We love, you lying son of a two-timing swineherder, the old Saints Row games, but we also recognize those are games of a time. They made sense within that era, and we were able to do things that felt good back then, but that tone is not something that we feel like we want today. We had a different, more boring, uninteresting story that we wanted to tell, because frankly, the soy has gotten to our brain now. A slight paraphrase, perhaps, but it captures the spirit of the message quite thoroughly, in my opinion. Saints Row is dead, replaced by Soy Row. And the official announcement trailer demonstrates that beautifully. It is 3 minutes and 44 seconds of abject boredom. There are parts in that trailer where a man carrying a shoulder-mounted multiple launch rocket system is almost crushed by a giant bobblehead after having raced across the roofs of Las Vegas, and still I am yawning. That is an achievement. A genuine feat of monotony. You have managed to make gun battles, car crashes, explosions, and rocket launchers into a dreary, drudgy mess that has me counting the seconds till the end credit screen. Holy cow, that is supernatural. Like, there are actual fun-sucking vampires working at Volition right now, today, apparently. But the question then, of course, looms large on the horizon. Why? God, why? Uh, you already know the answer, but I'll let the Volition talking heads tell you for me. And we tried to bring in a lot of new faces into it. And that's really helped us with what we've done. And that's when the concept really dove in that we need to reboot Saints Row. Mm -hmm. We decided to bring in a bunch of new people with wild and varied skin colors, if nothing else. And they told us that what we've been doing so far to rip roaring success, we just couldn't do that no more. Here's a business tip for you, Volition. Fire these people now. In fact, if anyone even mentions the dreaded line, d -d 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 diversity, kick them out the door first. And maybe by doing so, you'll even avoid the sexual harassment lawsuit that follows that word around as surely as the sun is bloody hot. And maybe, while you're at it, consider hiring some people that have actually played the preceding Saints Row games. Because I can guarantee you what Saints Row is not about is characters you would want to invite home. We've created a set of characters that you're going to want to invite in your living room every day. 
Now admittedly, it's been a moment or seven since I last played the Saints Row games, but if memory serves, practically the entire gang was a bunch of maddened maniacs that caused more property damage by the minute than your average peaceful protest. I would be hesitant about being on the same continent as these walking natural disasters, much less inviting them into my living room. And this whole backwards ass idea comes from, well, this nonsense. The game itself is about being your own boss, being true, being you, about being self-made. Embrace your identity and revel in it. I am a pasty ass Norwegian mountain monkey living in the middle of a dense forest with a barely functioning internet connection that raves into a microphone for a living. By all reasonable standards, my life is pretty humdrum average, which is precisely why, in a video game, I would like to play not me. I would like to play as the Gatling gun wielding insane asylum SKP that regularly beats steroid mainlining gorilla goons to death with a Swihunter dildo bat as a quick warm-up before taking on an alien invasion with newfound superpowers. You know, an escape from reality, not a continuation of it. Oh, and incidentally, that was what made the wacky-ass characters in the old Saints Row so cool, because they were nothing like any kind of normal person. Did you like Gat, for example? Was he an awesome character? Well, don't worry, we've got a much better replacement for you now, namely, Kevin. Kevin is shirtless, I don't know why. And that is his character. Kevin doesn't have a shirt, and even the people who are making Kevin don't know why Kevin doesn't have a shirt. Well, allow me to illuminate your pea-sized brain on this particular quandary. Kevin doesn't have a shirt because hot male characters walking around half-naked is entirely fine. On the other hand, the female characters are exposing about as much flesh as the average Afghani woman right now. And boy oh boy oh gee oh gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Perhaps the internet could give us some kind of a pointer as to- oh oh there we are, right. Well, I suppose that was a fairly simple question to answer, wasn't it? Saints Row is dead. And if there is a god in this cold, uncaring, ass-backwards universe of ours, Hipster Row will follow suit. Until next time, I've been Art. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day.